The provincial riding of Marquette, in Montreal's West Island, is one of the safest liberal seats in Quebec. It has been a party fortress since its creation in 1980. Its current MNA, Francois Wimet, first ran in 1994. Since then, in bad times as in good, his re-election has been little more than a formality. In spite of his party's poor showing in pre-campaign polls, this fall's provincial vote was lining up to be no exception. We met had reasons to feel his leader backed his decision to seek yet another mandate. There were rumors last winter that suggested Premier Philippe Quillard wanted to hand the plum riding to a star recruit. But when we met put the question directly to Quillard in May, he says the latter looked him in the eye and gave his word that we met's nomination was not on the line. Philippe Quillard's decision to dump a Liberal caucus veteran for a star candidate in Quebec's upcoming election could come back to haunt him, Chantal Hebert writes, Graham Hughes, the Canadian press file photo, with the party's blessing, we met was expected to be officially nominated as Marquette's Liberal candidate on Wednesday night. Instead, he spent Wednesday morning giving a tearful news conference to talk about his shock at having been summarily dumped by his leader. On Thursday, Quillard introduced former NHL hockey player Enrico Ciccone as his candidate in Marquette. The riding's Liberal Association was not on hand for the event. Its members were not in the loop of the party's change of plan. It is hardly unknown for incumbents to be prodded towards the exit prior to an election so as to bring in new blood. Sometimes that process can involve messy nomination battles. But ruling parties do not usually lack for incentives to convince one of their own to take a hit for the team. It is virtually unknown for a leader to break his word to a caucus veteran and have him summarily dropped from the roster a mere week before the start of an election campaign. Article continued below No one would describe we met as a star player for the Liberals. Until this week, he had toiled in relative obscurity. But neither would anyone depict Ciccone as a political force. He earned his fame on the ice and as a commentator on sports broadcasts, and his social media history does not reflect any particular affection for the Liberal Party. If anything, some of his past tweets suggest he did not always hold Quillard in high esteem. Sources told Radio Canada that Ciccone had flirted with the leading coalition Avenir Quebec prior to joining the Liberals. He admits to having had a lunch with a party official. The negotiation is said to have foundered on the CAQ's refusal to elbow out one of its MA so as to parachute him into a safe riding. At a time when Quebec voters are reshuffling the political deck, he is hardly the only candidate to have indulged in party shopping. Former political columnist Vincent Marissal made overtures to the federal liberals before joining Quebec Solidaire to run against Parti Québécois leader Jean-François Lisée in the Montreal riding of Rosemont. Quillard's deputy premier, Dominique Anglade, initially ran for the CAC, as did Health Minister Gautam Barrett. One of former Premier Jean Charest's most popular ministers, Marguerite Blaise, is running for François Legault's party this year. Article continued below Marquette's voters will likely not hold the CAC flirtation against Ciccone, who has made the best of an uncommonly awkward situation since Thursday's announcement. The same cannot be said about Quillard. The outgoing premier is about to spend the next six weeks making promises to Quebecers. His own M&As cannot trust his word, how can voters be expected to do so? This is a leader who has not accumulated a large capital of public sympathy. He may have squandered most of it on appointing a celebrity candidate to a riding his party already had in the bag. More than a dozen liberal MNAs are retiring this year. It is not as if Quillard lacked other opportunities to refresh his lineup. The sloppiness of the operation, at a stage in the pre-writ period when all eyes are already on the contenders, suggests the Liberal Party machine is not tuned up for what is set to be one of its most uphill election campaigns in decades. It has just lost a week to the market riding controversy. There are those who argue that if Pollard does poorly on October,
fun, one could trace the moment when he passed the point of no return back to this week's episode. What is certain is that he has just helped his opposition rivals put his credibility, or lack of it, on this fall's ballot. Chantal Hebert is a columnist based in Ottawa covering politics. Follow her on Twitter, at Chantalbert.